Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ellie and I'm a stay-at-home mom who likes to budget and sell stuff online. On today's video, I have a what sold for the week of April 15th to 21 on eBay and Poshmark. So let's get started. First on Poshmark, we have this Banana Republic Women's Cream Linen Crop Cuffed Hand Pants with Pocket Size 14. These pants I purchased at the bins and I picked them up because they were a size 14 and they were a linen fabric however they did have some pilling between the um, legs so I listed it for a pretty low price I got um, I sent an offer to like for $15 and the buyer accepted next we have the Sam Edelman women's Cody booty dark taup notebook size 8 these I purchased at a regular Goodwill a few years ago and they sold on an offer from the buyer for $45 Next, we have an item that I'm not going to count towards this week's totals, which is the bundle sale that I had, which is, was the Sorel Women's uh, Shoes, these Rack Poet pants, and the third item was a Melissa sandals. However, when I went to package the sale, the white part of the Melissa sandals had some color transfer. I don't know from where. It happened after I photographed them and listed them. So I contacted the buyer and I told her that I could either cancel the sale completely, cancel the sale and send her the two remaining items or she could replace it and I would give her the same discount that the bundle had which it was a 34% discount based on the offer that she had sent me. So she agreed to the third option and she replaced it with these Lululemon leggings which I was really appreciative because she could have just canceled the whole purchase. So um, I ended up selling her the 34% discount for the whole bundle and I also gave her a free shipping as a thank you. And I ended up earning the same amount as the original bundle. And these little lemon leggings have been sitting there forever so I was happy to see them go. And I got them at the regular Goodwill. Next we have these Converse Chuck Taylor's Kids All-Star Americana High Top Sneaker Shoes size 11. These sneakers I bought at Once Upon a Child. And they sold on a offer, no, this was a full price sales for $25. And they're really cool. Next we have these Disney Women's Vintage Straw Mickey Crossbody Bag. This I purchased at a garage sale. And I thought it was really cute and different. I've never seen a tag like that. So this sold on a counter offer from the buyer for $33. Here we have an item that I picked up at the regular Goodwill. It's a Joffet Women's Lagoon Houndstooth Blue and Red 10 inch Tank Top Size Medium. And I think I purchased this at a dollar day. And I had confused this uh, brand with Saya Active. That's why I picked it up, but it wasn't really a good buy. But it's sold on an offer from the buyer for $15. And it's a shame because this is part of a set. So a lot of times people, when they inquired about it, they were asking if I had the bottoms, which I didn't. Here we have an item that I purchased on the bins. It's this BOC Women's Trappy Leather Black Slip-On Wedge Sandals, size 8. And they sold from an offer from the buyer for $22. And this brand is a comfort shoe brand. And some items sell much better than others, um, especially like the boots. Here's another bins item. It's a JTL Women's Plus Essential Slim Ankle Pull-On Gray White Stripe Pants, size 18. They sold from an offer from the buyer for $20. $20. Next, we have a Lululemon Women's Cool Racerback Surf Bonder Workout Tank Top, size 6. I picked up this up at a regular Goodwill a while ago and it sold on an offer to Liker for $28. Here we have an item from my honey hole. This is a Madewell Women's Eyelet Lattice Cotton White Dress Size 2. And this sold on a counter offer from the buyer for $30. And I was happy to see it go. Like the Madewell dresses that I have, they just don't move. Next, we have a Rachel Soul Women's Linen Sleeveless Tie Front Moss Green V-neck Top Size Medium. I picked this up a while ago, like late 2019, 
at a regular Goodwill because I thought, oh, Rachel sold us a good brand. No, it's not. They sell it at TJ Maxx. But, you know, it was linen, so um, it sold from an offer from the buyer for $17. Here we have an item that I picked up at Savers. This is a Desisane Women's Tomboy Long Sleeve Collar Pocket Button Shirt e crew Blue Dot Size 2. This, I, picked, I was very excited when I purchased it. And this was a counter offer to my offer to Likers. We went back and forth a little bit and we settled at 65. Next we have an item from a thread of shoe box. It's the Clark Originals Women's Leather Wallaby Chukka Boot Brown size 10. And this sold from an offer from the buyer for $30. Here we have an item from a Jomar box, the one and only time I've ever purchased from there. It's a twin women's plaid yellow black medium bikini top size medium. Oh, I wrote medium twice, oops. So this sold from an offer from the buyer for $26. Here we have another bins item. It's the Atolo Women's Emily Champagne Lace Wide Band Brazier Size 34F. And this brand, I did, couldn't find much um, of this brand on Poshmark. And I priced it a little bit higher, but the, off the buyer sent me an offer for $25 and I accept it because I pay 89 cents per pound at the mint, so I'm sure I paid less than a dollar for this. Here we have an item from a Thread Ups coach bag. It, the Coach Women's Green Heritage Stripe Signature Hobo Shoulder Bag. And, the, you know, this bag was, like, the bag overall was in good condition, but the white stripe had this coloration here. And I had a lot of buyer, oh, and also this little part here. I had a lot of people send me like really low offers, like $10, $5, like it was ridiculous. But this person purchased it for full price for $31. Here we have an item that I'm so happy to see it gone. It's from my first bids trip, so that's late 2019. It's a Talbot's Women's The Perfect Skimmer Petal Pusher Salmon Pink Pants Size 6. And this sold on an offer from to Liker for $14. And Talbot's, I don't know, it's not, I mean, it's not my best seller. Oh no, actually it's one of my worst selling brands and this is a size 6, so it's not a good size. Here we have a Look Women's Nylon Black Allegra Crossbody Flap Turnkey Adjustable Strap Bag. This I picked up at the Goodwill. Lug is a great brand for um, travel bags and it's sold from an offer from the buyer for $23. Here we have a Rothy's Women Slip-On Machine Washable the Sneaker Dark Gray Size 8. These I picked up at the regular Goodwill and I really wanted to keep them but I decided to sell them instead. They sold from, um, we counter offered, went back and forth and we settled at 75. And the last item on Poshmark is a personal item. This is Jillian Michaels Worker DVD 6-piece bundle set. These are some DVDs that when I used to work out a lot I picked up from the good old Dollar Tree, back when it was still a dollar. And to be honest, I don't really like Julia Michaels. Like, I don't like her workout videos, so I sold this. And I sold on an offer to like her for $20. And then I had one eBay sale. This is Jabna Women's Cotton Stripe Summer Midi Spaghetti Straps Button Size Extra Small. And it sold on an offer from the buyer for $16 plus shipping. And this I picked up at the bids. So these are my sales for the week. Um, in total, I made $466.17. That's what is going into my bank account. If I would have counted the bundle sale, it would have been $5.50.10, but I'm not because that was from the previous week. So obviously I did not reach my $500 a week goal, which is, you know, unfortunate, but as I've been saying in the last couple of weeks and everybody in the reseller community has, Poshmark has been terrible. Um, I'm not sure what they are doing, but sales are not happening. From what I hear, different people are saying that Poshmark is not paying Google anymore, so searches are not showing up when you, you know, type stuff in Google. Additionally, some people are suggesting to change the title to like, for example, this one will be Javna Dress. I have 1,298 items in my closet, so 
to change the title of all those items to like just basic like two word titles it would be so time consuming so I'm not sure if it's worth me investing my time to do that especially when I need to be listing instead um, <clears throat> additionally I I know they are doing a like a fireside chat with these two women that work at Poshmark. I subscribe, but I'm on the wait list, so I highly doubt that I will be able to, you know, get in it and see what kind of, you know, spiel they have about why Poshmark is not working. The truth is, like, what's frustrating is the lack of transparency because all they tell you is to keep sharing, and obviously that's not working. Um, so yeah, they need to be clear on what listings need to have to be visible. But anyways, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. So let me know how your sales were. Please let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy budgeting and reselling content, please consider subscribing. I post here every week. Thank you so much and I will see you soon. Bye.